Here's a table where we've asked people to choose their favorite pairs of colors from these choices. The order of the colors doesn't matter, so we need to fill in only half the table. Red and blue is the same combination as blue and red. We can represent this in Java with the following two-dimensional integer array. Each of the rows has a different length, but that's okay. Because remember, a two-dimensional array is an array of arrays, and as we said in the preceding video, there's no law that each subarray needs to have the same number of items in it. When you have an array with differing numbers of elements in each row, that's called a ragged array. Let's write a program to total up how many people gave their opinions in this survey. Here's our ragged array, and we'll set our total number of people to zero. Then we'll run a loop for each row in the array. For int row equals zero, row less than choices dot length, row plus plus. The inner loop iterates over the columns. Now it's crucial to use choices sub row dot length as our loop limit because each row's length is different. Inside the inner loop, we set the number of people to the number of people plus choices at the given row and column. And when we're out of the loop, we print the results. Let's save that, compile, and run it. And there's the answer. One final note, in this case, each row was one longer than the preceding row. But again, there's no law about that either. Let's switch these two rows. recompile and rerun and it still works because we were careful to get the correct number of columns inside the inner loop.